said, there's that sort of spectrum. So if you, um, you know, I guess, uh, you know, before you kind of get to that point, there's some pretty, you know, milder types of things that I think we've all <laughs> um, experienced, such as like, you know, getting a bit of a, like a, a red warm skin and then getting some like sunburn. Um, if you're starting to, you know, uh, sweat heavily or have like difficulty breathing or having any kind of cramps, like then, then that's starting to get more serious. Although, according to Northern Health, there hasn't been an increase in hospitalizations in the Northwest due to the heat-related illnesses, the Health Authority does want people to remain vigilant when it comes to ensuring that the public uses precautions when dealing with the heat. You know, take responsibility for monitoring your, yourself and your own symptoms. People know themselves best. And when you start to, you know, um, just take all the precautionary measures, and if you do start to feel any of those symptoms, please, you know, try to get yourself to a safer and cool place. Um, and and then likewise, if you have uh, people in your um, circle of, you know, family, friends that are vulnerable, check in with them about their plan and um, check in on them if possible. Those particularly at risk would be the elderly, people with chronic diseases, heart conditions, respiratory infections, but they're not the only ones to be affected. An interesting finding from the review on the heat dome here in BC from a couple of years ago was that folks with mental illness, so schizophrenia, depression and anxiety, increased risk, as well as those with um, cognitive impairment, substance use disorders, and then of course, you know, people who are pregnant as well as uh, infants and babies, they, they are not able to regulate their, their heat as well. Um, so all of those sort of risk factors make you less resilient. The advice steps include reducing physical activity, refraining from alcoholic beverages and other substances as the dehydration tends to exaggerate their effect, which could lead to injury. Taking numerous cool baths and or showers to lower the body's core temperature, cold and wet towels across the body, pouring water on someone or sitting them in front of a fan and ensuring that if things do not improve, to call 911 and seek professional medical attention.